Assisted vaginal birth involves the use of either vacuum or forceps to facilitate safe delivery. The choice of instrument depends on the clinician's skills, the clinical circumstances, and active patient involvement. This video will discuss preliminary considerations to achieve safe forceps-assisted vaginal birth. An assisted vaginal birth can be considered for either maternal and or fetal indications. Maternal indications include prolonged second stage of labor, maternal exhaustion, or medical conditions where pushing with the Valsalva maneuver is precluded. Fetal indications include evidence of fetal compromise that requires expedited delivery, such as an abnormal fetal heart rate tracing. A list of prerequisites must be met before assisted vaginal birth is attempted. Informed maternal consent must be obtained. The cervix should be fully dilated and the membranes ruptured. The fetus must be cephalic and engaged in the pelvis. The maternal bladder should be empty. Appropriate analgesia should be confirmed. Where there is an increased risk of unsuccessful forceps delivery, a trial of forceps should be performed in an operating room with timely access to cesarean delivery. Comprehensive abdominal and vaginal examinations must be performed to confirm that the patient meets all criteria to proceed safely.